Yo, what is going on guys? It is Petty today. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Today is going to be an informative tip type video. Today is going to be OBS Studio or OBS Classic. Which one you should use, which one is better. So without further ado guys, if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up. I appreciate it guys. Let's get right into it. So guys, first thing is first, I've been asked a couple times in the past, in the past couple weeks, whether you should use OBS Classic or OBS Studio, and I decided to make a video on it, so I think it would be the right thing to do, give you guys a little bit of insight of what I use, what people should use, and what's better, what's not. For me personally, I use OBS Classic to live stream on Twitch, you can use it to live stream on Twitch, YouTube, Hitbox, or even Daily Motion. but for OBS Studio, I used to record YouTube videos, so this video you're watching right now is an OBS Studio. I use my Elgato too, sometimes for Call of Duty videos, other times I use my OBS Studio. It just depends on the day, but normally I use OBS Studio to record my YouTube videos. But before anything I talk about right now, I recommend you guys to use OBS Classic first, so you guys get used to all the features, all the settings, and then when you get used to that, move on to OBS Studio to let you guys get a better feel of what you guys can do with all the software, all the features of the new OBS Studio, and get better at recording and editing. Okay guys, so what you're seeing right now is the actual website for OBS Studio. It is obsproject.com, open broadcaster software, free open source software for live streaming and recording like I said earlier in the video. But right now you can see get OBS Studio and get OBS Classic. And it says August 8th, 2016 for it being released, but it's been released a lot later than that. It, it constantly gets released and updated, so it's a brand new software. It seems brand new with a lot of new features, but it, it's old. It hasn't been released this early. It's been an old software. But you can already see it has a lot more platforms to be downloaded onto. Windows 7, 8, 10, Mac, Linux, but OBS Classic only has Windows. But pretty much what OBS Studio is, is it was made to be a better professional and multi-platform software to record and make your streams. So pretty much it has a lot more platforms as you can see Windows, Mac, Linux, it's a lot more things you can do with it. It makes it a lot more professional looking, a lot more transitions, scenes, sources, a lot of stuff you can use for your videos. And since it constantly gets re-released and updated, as you can see August 8th was the last time it was released, since it gets released a lot, it comes out with a lot of new features and settings you can use to make your videos even better, make a lot more transitions, filters, everything in between to make your video look even nicer. And for OBS Classic, pretty much it's just the basic software, the old software. OBS Classic is still great. I use it for my live streams. But pretty much OBS Classic is just a basic free open source software to record and live stream, like I said. And you have your basic streaming sources. You know, you have your Twitch, you have your YouTube, Hitbox, and your Daily Motion. And it records in MP4 files and FLB. I use my MP4 files when I record YouTube videos because it's easy to convert and just make a YouTube video out of that. So MP4 is the main source you should use when you make YouTube videos on OBS. Because when you use FLB, it takes a lot of time to convert to mp4 or WMB files it just takes a lot more work so when you record YouTube videos if you use OBS to record or make YouTube videos make sure you have it on mp4 because it makes it a whole lot easier in the editing process trust me and of course it has your sources and your scenes as a limited amount you can use whatever you want for your scenes and your sources you can have as many as you want this is a list going on for sources but the cool thing about OBS studio is that it has global sources and what global sources is is that whenever you want to make a new source it already saves the old sources for you. So whenever you make a new scene or you're gonna have a new screen for your live stream or recording, you just go to global sources, add, and it already has existing sources from your old videos or your old scenes, and you just add it onto there. But OBS Classic, you have to add new ones. You gotta constantly re-add the ones you had before. You gotta do the whole process over and over again of add new things, but with global sources, they're already on there for you. All right guys, so what you're seeing right now is OBS Studio, and what I meant by global sources is that if you go to scenes, you click right click, you click on add, add whatever the name of the scene you wanted to be, we'll just put a random name in there, okay? Now when you go to sources, you click add, Whatever you want, image, game capture, video capture. For this, we do video capture. So click on video capture device. And right here, you can see it has create new or it has add existing. And these are the global sources, guys. It has AC60, which is my Elgato, and it has webcam. So click on the global sources, click on add existing, click on webcam, and click OK. So see, you see my face. See the webcam it already has it there for you saved. So OBS Studio is great if you're going to have already saved sources on your computer. So you can just go in, add it, and it's there for you guys. And like OBS Classic, OBS Studio has unlimited scenes and sources for you to use as well. So overall, OBS Studio is like OBS Classic, but it's pretty much on steroids. Okay guys, so right here is a side-by-side -side comparison from OBS Classic and OBS Studio. And already you can tell they look very, very similar, but there are a few details that are different, such as the layout of the software itself, 
and some other new features that might be on OBS Studio that aren't on OBS Classic, such as the studio mode and the scene transition. So pretty much you already see that there's the scenes and the sources and the mixture, such as on the other software for OBS Classic. OBS Studio is pretty much the same thing, but just different software, different features, and updated you know quality to the actual software itself. In the scene transitions, you can cut and fade away the transitions to make it more professional looking, more smoother, more cuts. And with studio mode, you can see what it looked like before and after the image is transitioned or cut. And like I said earlier, before you can have as many scenes and sources as you want on both software, the OBS Studio and OBS Classic, you can have as many sources, as many scenes as you can probably handle, as many as you need, to the point where you just don't need to use anymore. The only difference of streaming and recording on OBS Studio is that it doesn't have a preview mode as it does in OBS Classic. So if you want to use OBS Studio, you can't preview anything, you just have to record it or stream it. But on OBS Classic, it has a preview mode, so you can preview your stream, preview your recording or your YouTube video. You can preview what you want to see and preview what you're going to make earlier before so you don't have to mess up in your stream or your recording. But on OBS Studio, it only has a recording and a streaming option. But overall guys, they look both very similar, but if I had to go with one that was better than the other, I'd probably pick OBS Studio, but OBS Classic is still the basic one to use. I still use it more than OBS Studio to be honest. OBS Classic is just a basic software, you can use it for anything pretty much. Streaming is the best one I feel like for OBS Classic just because it's basic. You know what you're doing, but OBS Studio, once you get used to OBS Classic, move on to OBS Studio. I do use OBS Studio to stream sometimes when OBS Classic is broken, but OBS Classic is like the beginner version. Once you get used to what you're doing, go on to OBS Studio. Alright guys, so I hope this video helped you guys out figure out what you want to use between OBS Classic and OBS Studio. If it did, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe when you're out of the video guys. It means a lot to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it guys. But this is the end of the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Hope these tips helped you guys out. I love using OBS. OBS Classic and Studio are really fun to use. I like them both equally as much, but I use OBS Classic more than I use OBS Studio. So, but I hope you find one that works for you and one that sticks for you. Let me know which one you like better in the comments below, either a Studio or a Classic. I appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching once again. This is Prodigy. Have a great day guys. Peace out.